So we're at home and we're sitting around and sitting around hurts our hips and our lower back. So what are some tools that we can use around the home for stretching or yoga purposes or just mobility in general? Um, I've got a fold out chair here, but uh, you could use something like a coffee table. You could sit in your comfy, cozy chair. Uh, however, I would warn if it rocks, be cautious. Um, coffee table, uh, an end table, uh, you know, dining room table if it's low enough to the ground. Um, and you know, if you have a fold out chair or just something, something that you can sit on. Uh, dining room chairs are really great as well, if I haven't said that already. Anyway, so I thought that I would just sort of show you some of the things uh, that you can use around your home, a chair. And because we're sitting all the time, then why not do, you know, some chair mobility stuff or uh, how you could use the chair. So first of all, on any surface, you want to sit really close to the edge. So I'm going to scooch my bum forward a little bit. And actually, I'm going to turn myself around because maybe profile would be better. So you want to get right to the edge of the chair so that you're doing the best that you can to create this 90 degree angle with your hips and your knees and your uh, ankles. And then from this space in place, we did something like this, or maybe you've done something like this um, from the ground, but this is uh, a nicer way to do it if you don't physically want to get down on your hands and knees and lay down. If you're just simply sitting in a chair, you can lean back, you can take your right knee to your chest, and then open your knee up to the side and place your ankle on your left thigh. And then from here, you just gently tilt forward. Be really cautious that you're not putting your hand on your knee and causing any pressure on this knee joint. Just simply lean forward and rest your hands wherever they fall. Um, and then take a couple of nice big deep breaths here. So a couple of places that you can feel it, you can feel it sort of radiating up your outer right hip. You can maybe feel it in your inner right groin, maybe somewhere in the hamstrings. So just being mindful, taking some big breaths here and noticing where you might feel it in your body. A lot of the times when we're working uh, a stretch or an opening of our hips, our shoulders will rise up. So just keep your shoulders nice and soft. And then to come out of it, you just want to support your knee and your ankle. You can lean back a little bit to lift the ankle off the leg and then simply bring that right foot back down. And then same thing to the other side. So you lean back a little bit, you lift your left knee up, you rotate out and then place the foot on the right thigh so you can flex this left foot or you can leave it sort of you know sloppy um, you can play around with that a little bit and just sort of see what that might feel like in your outer left hip you can do it for the same on the right side as well and then just gently tilt forward again just being cautious so you're not pressing um, this left knee down any deeper than what's happening naturally softening the shoulders softening the jaw and the muscles around the eyes and then just taking a few big deep breaths here this is the time where my teacher would say now you know now is not the time to give yourself a pedicure so just leave your toes alone and then you can lean back and support your ankle and your knee and then bring that left foot to the ground okay so sitting on the edge of the chair, you can bring your legs a little wider. Like I've got the use of my yoga mat, but if you think about how wide a yoga mat is, just take your feet a little wider than a yoga mat and you can turn your toes out slightly and then just get really sloppy in your spine, nice rounded spine, and then just simply hinge forward here. So the flesh of the bum is gonna rise, that's fine, but try to keep the two sitting bones grounded down into whatever support you're sitting on and then just sort of hang. Right, so you're gonna get a little bit of a stretch in your inner groins, maybe your outer thighs. And obviously if your fingertips can come to the floor, you can give yourself a little bit more support with your fingertips. If your fingertips don't find the floor, then take some height underneath your hands and bring the ground up to you, okay? So, I don't know, some stacked books. Uh, we've got records at our house that you know are nice even though we don't want to stack them on top of each other. But some books are really nice. Um, if you have blocks at home, that's cool too. Just again, making sure that the ground is coming up to you. And then let the head hang. So a few big breaths here, letting the back of the neck relax, letting the shoulders droop, 
Inhaling slowly, exhaling slowly. And then just slowly on an inhale, you want to round all the way back up to sitting. Maybe I should have put my hair up. Okay. And then just heel toe your feet back together from here. So just a couple of things to get you started. The next thing that you're going to do is you're actually going to stand up. Okay. And we're going to turn around and we're going to face the chair. Okay. So from here, you're going to put your right foot on top of the chair. And then you can use your chair for a little bit of leverage if you want to extend this left leg back a little bit. So you can shimmy it back to a place that's comfortable for you. All the while keeping this front knee bent over top of your ankle or your heel, okay? So hand on something for a little bit of extra balance if you want, or you can test your balance and take your hands off that support. From here, we want to be cautious that we're not leaning into our leg, that the rib cage lifts away from the leg, okay? And then what we're trying to do, especially if we've got tight hamstrings or calf muscles, we're trying to very, very gently sort of press this femur bone away from the center line of our body. So if your knee is bent a little bit, you can pick your heel up and you can work the opening of the back of the knee instead of forcing the heel down if it doesn't want to come down. So pressing the left thigh back, keeping this right knee bent, okay, and then keeping the body upright and just breathe through this. So maybe a little bit of a hip flexor stretch, definitely something um, going on in this right leg as well. And then if you want to get really wild and crazy, you can bring your arms up over your head. Okay. So we uh, think about this as a, maybe a modified warrior one position. So inhaling and then exhaling and put your hand on some support to shimmy or jump that back foot forward and then just simply change sides. So just walk around to the other side. Okay. And then left foot comes on top and you can shimmy that right foot back a little bit. Okay, and then that left knee is bent right over top of that left ankle or left heel. And then you can lift the back right heel up off the mat and you can press the back of the right knee open and seeing if maybe that heel will come down a little bit. So maybe feeling something up the back of the calf, maybe the hamstrings, definitely something in this left hip. And then again, body is upright. And if you're feeling balanced and if you wanna take a little deeper or if you wanna explore, experiment with your balance, we can inhale and the arms can come up over the head. Okay, so big breaths. Even more wild and crazy, maybe looking up towards the ceiling. So. From here, the arms come down. We take that support, hand on the support, and just hop, step, or shimmy this back right foot forward, and then come to stand. The last thing that I like to do is a little bit of spinal movement. So from here, we do this on the ground as well, right? Smiley face, sad face, cat one, cat two, that sort of thing. You can do it with the use of a chair. So you can simply place your hands on top of a chair or on top of a coffee table or whatever support you're using underneath you. Okay. Feet come about hip distance apart, hands are underneath the shoulders, and then just simply round your back. And then arch your back. So right, chest is forward, looking up, shoulder blades back. Exhale and rounding. And inhale and looking up. And exhale and rounding. And inhaling and looking up. And then just bend your knees, walk your feet forward. And there you go. So a little bit of a, I don't know, chair movement sequence that you can do at home while you're sitting around.